What if I told you that your little language learner should be, in fact, teaching? You might be thinking, but my kid is still just learning this foreign language. Well, hold on a second. We're all learners and teachers, or at least we should be. Teaching is hands down one of the best ways to really grasp a subject, and language is no exception. In this video, you'll learn why teaching is such a powerful tool for learning, and more importantly, how your child can find someone to teach. Even if you're in a minority community without easy access to other language learners, and as always on this channel, we'll keep it practical. So here's a little clip of my daughter Selena doing her first ever language mentoring. Remember this from yesterday? Yes. Rubber band. Very good. Just say it more clear. Rubber band. Rubber band. Better. Do you know what it is? Yes. Gum. Chewing gum. Are so cross? Yes. Chewing gum. Chewing gum. Good! Do you know what this is? So, toothpaste. Can you say that? Toothpaste. 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 You can see that even though this is Selena's first time teaching, it's already helping her reinforce what she learned. But not everyone's got a ready-to-go student at home. So, what do you do if you're a bit isolated or there's no one around learning the same language as your kid? Don't worry, we got you two solid options, even if you don't have a cousin or a friend living nearby. Daddy, can we get a parrot to teach Spanish too? But first, let's talk about why teaching is good for your kid trying to acquire a foreign language. First of all, you can think of it like repetition. Every time your child teaches something, they are repeating it and thus overlearning it in the long run. So that's why my daddy asked me to clean my room again and again and again and again and again. Also think about preparations before you'll teach someone. If you are not crystal clear on something, you'll be aware of that in the preparation stage. Not to mention that explaining subjects force you to find your own unique perspective on the subject matter. And then, as a mentor, you will constantly have to explain things in the most simple way possible. And finally, we could say that relating the knowledge to the real world could enhance your understanding of it. Can I teach the neighbor's dog to bark in Spanish? Woof! I mean, woo! Woo! That's what the dog says in Spanish. Alrighty. So now that you know why your kid should teach, we are ready for the how part. What options are there if you don't have language learners or your kid's target language nearby? You can teach on YouTube, like me! Yep, that's a great option, but there's more. The next opportunity is joining an online language learning community where kids can swap languages. Maybe we could start a language exchange for pets. My goldfish could teach me bubble blowing. Now, while there are plenty of these for adults, they're a bit harder to come by for children. One awesome service I found is called My Language Exchange. The link is in the description below. Uh, there's no affiliation here though. Um, so, in case you wondered, it's super affordable, like six bucks a month and it's for both adults and kids. You can tweak it so only other kids can see your child's profile. Plus, you can search by language and even narrow it down to by, you know, country. So if your kid's keen on learning a specific dialect from a certain place, you can find just the right match. 
Now, if you're new here, I'm Bill, and I spent a decade teaching two languages, and my daughter, who is trilingual, is now picking up Spanish. So we're gonna follow the journey right here on the channel. Begging you to be mine, you can't be left alone in the spare so much better together on this channel you'll find both videos directed at foreign language learning while other videos will be from a perspective of multilingual learning today we are offering a free resource to help you support your child in becoming a language mentor My idea. our parents guide provides practical steps and important considerations to get you started on this exciting journey. If you'd like to receive this free guide, simply come and send me the guide below and we'll send it your way. If you're a parent looking to get more involved in your child's language journey, whether they're juggling multiple languages or just picking up a new one, come join our Patreon community. We're building a great resource for parents. The link is in the description. If you want to support the channel but don't have a ton of time, you can hit those three little dots under this video and make a quick donation. Every bit helps and it's super appreciated. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye. Say adios amigos. Why can't you say it? It's not so difficult. Adios amigos. Oh, <laughs>